Hello and welcome to this edition of TLB TV Overtime. I'm Nolan Gelbard alongside Sean Mahoney. Maryland took care of business once again, this time taking on Big Ten opponent Rutgers. The Scarlet Knights visiting College Park. First of two matchups between these teams this year. Starting off hot, Shanice Lewis drives, draws the defenders and finds a wide open Stephanie Jones for the easy layup. Terps take an early lead. Later on, Eliana Kristinaki finds an open Kayla Charles for the jumper. She had six assists on the night, a new career high for her. And ball movement was key tonight. This time, Kristen Confoy finds Charles at the top of the key. Bang! 22 points for the sophomore. She led all players on the night. Second half, Terps up in an absolute dime by Kristinaki. She finds Jones under the hoop, extending their lead to 19. More ball movement now. Aisha Smalls feeding who else? Stephanie Jones. Her big presence helped her finish with 16 on the night. Fourth quarter now. Smalls with the cross court pass to Chris Tanaki. And she's got it. Terps offense exploded tonight. They take this one 88 to 60. I thought, uh, you know, we shared the basketball. Uh, you know, we had something like eight assists, one turnover in, in that first 10 minutes, and that's who we need to be. Also, like Coach said, moving the ball, finding open teammates, and that's a big emphasis that we've had. And when, we're, when we are successful, that's what we're doing. So we just went back to that. And, Sean, the Terps had four players in double digits tonight scoring. How did they move the ball around so well? Well, it's all about a team mentality. That's what Brenda Freeze praises. You saw Eliana Kristinaki and Kyla Charles both scoring over 20 points. And not only that, but you had Brianna Frazier down low scoring nine herself. It doesn't work inside, it goes outside. It doesn't work outside, it goes inside. It's all about finding the best shot for the Terps. And defensively tonight, the Terps were fantastic. They held Tyler Scaife, one of the leading scorers in the Big Ten, to only six points. How'd they get that done? Well, like it was on offense, it's the same on defense. It's all about a collective effort. Kyle Charles had the task of guarding her, just like she did Kelsey Mitchell a couple weeks ago, and she did tremendous. And not only that, but it was the whole team on switches, forcing her to take bad shots, going 0 for 5 from beyond the arc. It's all about a team effort at Maryland. Always a team effort for the Terps. And you can catch Maryland women's basketball again Sunday, February 4th, taking on Nebraska at 3 p.m. For Sean Mahoney, I'm Nolan Gelbard. Thanks for watching TLB TV Overtime.